Logan Sargent. He's only 22 years old, but he's one of the most elite racers in the world, winning one of the coveted 20 seats in Formula One. Logan was born in the US, but he has spent nearly half his life in Europe on the racing circuit, all preparing him to become the first American driver in F1 since 2015. I feel like when I started karting in America, it was a really fun hobby that I could do with my brother and my dad and uh, just, just sort of go out on the weekends with the friends. And then we moved to Europe at 12. Uh, we really just wanted to get into you know, the most competitive karting scene there was, which was in Europe. And uh, that's what triggered the move. And uh, I feel like I was so young that I didn't really understand what I was really getting myself into. But um, I'm glad I did and it, it all worked out. How was that transition for you when you first came here? It was definitely tricky. Um, you know, the, the transition was, was lonely at times. You know, I, I left a lot behind, that's for sure. But I think the fact I was 12 and I was so young, as I said, I was probably a bit naive to, to a lot of what I was gonna go through. And, um, you know, maybe if you told me what all the things I would have to go through, I wouldn't have stuck it out. But um, probably, probably better that I didn't know. And, um, you know, I'm glad I, I went through it all. When you think about that, when you think about like, now thinking about coming here at like 12 like do you think it's like kind of crazy <laughs> i mean it definitely does sound pretty crazy to leave home and you know sort of you know make that jump that early um you know maybe even a little bit unnecessarily early um but in the end of the day i, I feel like because i lived through it it just it just feels normal <laughs> huge moment for the U.S. now having now added the Vegas thing. Miami went amazing last year. So having those and then adding to an American driver, like how big do you think F1 is getting right now in the U.S.? I've personally never seen it bigger than it is uh, at the moment. Um, you know, I think three really good races, really good venues, um, great, great places in, in America. And, um, you know, I, I think hopefully, hopefully I'm, I'm able to, to give the crowd someone to cheer for. Do you hold any of that, like, on your shoulders? You know, I deserve this opportunity. I'm just looking forward to um, performing to the best of my ability and maximizing everything for the team. Is there anyone you're going up against that you're really excited to or that you used to look up to? Well, I feel like it's, it's pretty surreal to, you know, be going up against people who I've watched my whole life, uh, such as Lewis and Fernando and I mean even Max is, has been in F1 for, for a long time so it's it's pretty crazy that I'll be going you know, I'll be racing with them and um, but I feel like at the same time once the helmet goes on you know it's every man for themselves you know, it'll be pretty you know obviously the respect is there and it's just amazing to have the opportunity to share the track with them. Kind of have to forget your heroes at that point. Huh? Exactly you, you know you can't can't view them as heroes anymore because now it's uh, now it's your job to try and beat them. Was it ever surprising to you how competitive it actually is between the drivers? No, because I think I think we're in such a competitive sport. There's only 20 drivers on the grid and everyone wants to win. I think that's what drives us to be better drivers as well and the teams to, to, to perform better as well. So I think in every way competition is one of the best things in the world. And have you gotten any advice from teammates or from you know the the team around you or even other drivers yeah i've definitely gotten some advice but i mean in such a competitive sport you definitely keep keep a lot of stuff to yourself um which is understandable alex my teammate has been you know one of the most open and honest teammates that i've worked with and um yeah i'm really looking forward to you know, being teammates with him throughout throughout this year, and I think him having the experience, I, I can definitely learn off of him. 